Hey everyone, I'm Dave Ammerman with Steiner Auctions and I'm bringing to you our final Fall Classic Auction Preview. The auction's been live for a few weeks and it's ending very shortly. I've got a few items here, but there's almost 1,500 items in the live auction, so make sure to go on SteinerAuctions.com to check out all the items, but got a few items here that I thought would be uh, really neat to check out now, so kind of need a visual, a video visual on some of these. So uh, we'll start uh, to my right here. This is a late 1970s early 1980s Pete Rose game used helmet. Uh, the helmet was actually acquired directly by Pete Rose um, and given to our consigner from Pete Rose who they developed a relationship in the 80s. It has Rose on the back. Um, pretty nicely worn helmet. They're certainly not what they are today if you got beaned in the head but a batting helmet from a all-time great like Pete Rose or a big name in the 70s. They wore these a good amount. They didn't just wear them a couple games and it wasn't a business at all back then so we're talking about a $5,000 and up uh, possible helmet here and it's very light in the auction now so this is definitely um, an item that you want to check out. Uh, right here I have something that is truly amazing, one of our finest pieces in the auction, if not maybe one of the finest and neatest pieces we've ever had. It's the Yankee Stadium guest book that started in 1946 um, and it features the original artwork from the guest book and a ton of signatures starting out with Bill Dickey you have Dan Topping and a ton of people that attended the stadium during this era there's actually 30 or 40 pages of New York City patrons socialites elite people who came to the stadium so there's cartoonists in here you can see uh, you can just tell everyone who signed it added a little flair I've even had some people that I was speaking with where I found a family member's name so really a rich history of the Yankee Stadium in New York uh, right inside this book with everyone's addresses, the dates they were at the stadium, a uh, real personal item uh, that comes directly out of Yankee Stadium. We can start here, although this is one of my favorite uh, parts of this book. This is a full page where Bob Shepard actually wrote out the first lineup that he ever he ever announced and just a perfect handwriting, perfect full page. You'll never, just this page alone will be a couple thousand dollars to the right Yankee fans. So, I mean, just a uh, really amazing uh, page there written out by Bob Shepard and a fitting way to end the book. Uh, but going in reverse order, you have uh, a lot of the 1990 Yankees and old Derek Jeter, uh, Tino, teams as well, Tom Seavers in here, Drysdale, Lasorda, Joe Morgan, Duke Snyder, got Jimmy Fox, Tris Speaker, Connie Mack, Ty Cobb, Mickey Mantle, George Sizzler, Yogi Berra, Charlie Geringer, Ed Walsh, Cy Young, Red Ruffing, Chief Bender, Bob Feller, Whitey Ford, Lefty Grove, Lefty Gomez, yeah, Johnny Mize, Chris Chambliss, Bloomberg, Bobby Mercer, a lot of the 70s Yankees in here, Joe Pepitone, has a nearly perfect Babe Ruth autograph, right below it, Joe DiMaggio. And then you have another full page in this book also with little Ray Kelly, who was Babe Ruth's personal mascot, who wrote out a little note uh, for the owner of the book as well. So uh, thousands of autographs, all sorts of different conditions, a true one-of-a-kind piece of memorabilia and Yankee memorabilia as well, only available in our auction right now, ending in a few weeks. Um, take you to our next piece here, a really, really unusual, really unique find. Uh, you won't be able to tell too much uh, from that angle what it is because it's actually a mirror image. This is actually a wooden block, and it's a printing plate from 1965. And it features all of the professional model, autograph model uh, bats that were available for 1965. Louisville Slugger, uh, they actually kind of discovered their niche in the early 1900s and figured, why don't we endorse athletes? Kind of some of the first athlete endorsements are the Louisville Slugger bats, starting with Honus Wagner and moving all up here. You have Mickey Mantle, Roger Maris, Roberto Clemente, Willie Mays, some of the really, really big names uh, on this piece right here. And it was actually used, and this was used to print out ads for the uh, Pro Model Bats in 1965. So just of a one-of-a-kind piece, you don't really see anything like this because Louisville Slugger, um, they didn't give these out. They actually gave their employees one time in their life before they retired a gift of anything that they kind of wanted of this nature. And this was sourced from Louisville at an estate sale from a gentleman who was a lifetime employee. And, um, you know, he passed away, and this was purchased by our consigner and just really unique one-of-a-kind piece from the mid-1960s with tons of Hall of Famers on there. Um, that'll take us to our next couple pieces here. We have some game-used bats. Uh, we have a ton of game-used bats in the auction. These are just two that I thought uh, I would like to share. We have a Paul O'Neill bat, very rare bat. Uh, you don't see O'Neill bats too often. It's graded a PSA 10. It's perfect. Spike marks all over the barrel. It's destroyed. 
Blue ink transfers, ball marks, perfect tape job there. It's not cracked. It's signed by Paul O'Neill. It's from 93 to 97, so it fits within his uh, Yankees days right there, and it's a perfect graded bat, and that's available, as well as Cal Ripken Jr. early career game used bat. Graded a PSA 9.5, tons of ball marks, just in other great items. There's Don Mattingly bats, Eddie Murray bats, Bryce Harper, um, Mike Trout, John Carlos Stanton, tons of game used bats in the auction. So definitely uh, check those out. And right here is something that we've never offered before. Nothing even sort of close to this, but it's a really cool piece of history and who knows where it's going to go in the auction. So that's why it's an auction. You know, someone's going to be able to get this. This is the New York Tribune from May 4th, 1965. I'm sorry, 1865. And it has an article here about the assassination, $100,000 reward um, for the man who assassinated uh, President Abraham Lincoln. And it even mentions Davis, Thompson, Clay, Tucker, Saunders, charged, uh, they were charged with the president's murder at first. So this is even before they knew who actually uh, ended up assassinating uh, Lincoln. It talks about the funeral proceeding and everything as well. So um, perfect condition uh, newspaper, immaculately preserved. The ink is perfect. There's no tears or anything like that. And that's a, that's a newspaper from 1865. So we're over 150 years old on something like that. And it's about one of the most historic situations that ever occurred in American history. So uh, all these items right here and plenty more you can find on SteinerAuctions.com. The auction ends November 18th at 10 p.m. So get in there and get on bidding. Only a little time left.